guys, welcome back. I am so sorry I have not uploaded for a while. Um, I was kind of busy with schoolwork and all of that fun stuff. So, yeah, so this is yet another episode of Park Review. And as you can see, the scenery behind me has changed. Probably, it's, it's better than my bookshelf, I would say. Nice, living by mountains very nice I know and yeah so when I went to Cedar Breaks National Monument I didn't get to do much um, so this was after I went to Bryce Canyon the second time um, so if you didn't okay so pretty much I went to Bryce Canyon and in between my first and second trip I went to Yellowstone and Grand Teton but after my second trip I went to Cedar Breaks which is this episode and um, so I didn't get to do much. Um, my family came in from the, um, what's it called? The, um, the Eastern entrance of the park, um, coming in from Bryce Canyon National Park. And um, pretty much what we did, we didn't do much. We went to the Chessman Ridge Overlook and the Visitor Center. That's really it. We didn't do much, which I am sad we didn't get to do because I, very beautiful park it's like a miniature Bryce Canyon I would say so yeah. so what to expect when you visit Cedar Breaks National Monument Cedar Breaks National Monument is a fairly small monument but you got a plan when you go to this park because half the year or a little over for half the year the park is closed because of snow but yeah you can take a um, snowmobile up there but they would, but it's a lot easier to get around if you were to go perhaps during the summertime. And also just to note, it can get super windy up in the park. Um, Cause you're up on this ridge, you're very high up about 10,000 feet and it's gonna get cold and windy. So I would prepare to like maybe bring some extra layers if you're going there. There are campsites there um, that you can reserve. There are um, two main trails, the Alpine Pond, the Alpine Pond Trail and the um, Supreme Point Trail. And both are really cool. And sadly, I didn't get to do either. I know, I, I know, but um, yeah, definitely do that. It's a small park, um, very high up. So expect to gain lots of altitude from the nearby city of Cedar City. Um, so yeah, just expect to be cold and windy up there. Like it's usually not. So yeah, the Junior Ranger program at Cedar Breaks National Monument is a very good one. I've had the chance to complete it, but I'm still waiting to get my uh, book back from the mail because I had mailed the booklet in and all that to get it back from them and receive the badge. I don't have either of them with me, but I will probably put a picture somewhere over here of um, the booklet and what the badge looks like. And it's a very wonderful Junior Ranger booklet. It's free and super fun to complete. Um, sadly, I was not at the park to complete it, I know. What I would suggest doing at Cedar Breaks National Monument is definitely going to um, the three, or there's, a t there's stuff to do at Cedar Breaks, I should say. Um, so definitely stop by the Northern View, the Chessman Ridge Overlook, just stop at all the overlooks and hike the trails. You can easily make a day trip out of Cedar Breaks or even two days. It's an easy two day trip to Cedar Breaks because there's plenty enough in the park for you to do within two days of visiting the park. So you have the main trail, which a lot of people go on, which starts at the visitor center and goes way past and Fun fact, if you go a little bit further on the main trail, or the Supreme Point Trail, you can actually get to Bartisan Arch, which I will have a picture of here, and all of that. It's really cool, and it's not marked on the map, so yeah, it's a little cool hidden gem in the park. It's not marked on the map, and yeah. And definitely do the Alpine Loop Trail. I didn't get to do it, sadly enough, but um, definitely do the trails and hiking is definitely always a good suggestion. Would I ever go back to Cedar Breaks? Heck yes. 
I want to go back super badly. This is like this is one of the parks I want that I want to go back so badly because it's such a good park and I barely scratched the surface of Cedar Breaks National Monument and all that. But thank you guys for watching. I know it's been a super long time. I'm gonna explain again that it's because of schoolwork and all that. But I am happy to be back and um, so, and I also have new schedule, um, every Wednesday I will have a park review video out, um, and then I'll just have a random schedule from there, so I'll just upload when I feel like it, but there will always be at least one upload a week. So, yeah, that's really it, and hopefully I get to do a lot more filming, so that way I can actually make content for you guys so and if you don't already you can follow me on instagram at force 18 doc or at force 18 where i'll post a lot of updates um from outside of my videos so like i know definitely one of i have a big idea coming up soon so hopefully you guys and i will probably announce it on my instagram before the video I announced it in so yeah so just make sure to follow me on Instagram and if you have any cool experiences with Cedar Breaks National Monument tell me in the comments below because I would love to hear because it's such a cool monument and if you suggest anything definitely put it in the comments I, I will read them and we'll give a heart so so just keep exploring the great outdoors which I am in right now as if you didn't already know that. Well, stay on the trails.